guys, welcome to another vlog. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today is going to be an absolutely insane vlog. It concludes a massive RC car, painting it rainbow colors, and driving it through a pool. Probably not my best idea yet. Let me explain what's going on here. So we have a clear body for this RC car, and what we're going to do is we're going to paint it black, and then we're going to pretty much splatter it all these neon colors. We're also going to slap an unspeakable kind of sticker on the side, if you guys want to pick these up. Link in the description, by the way. This is kind of what it's going to look like. That's kind of what we're thinking. Obviously, it's not going to be a cake. Yeah, it's not going to be a cake, but that's kind of what we're thinking thinking and I also want to thank you guys for all the comments that you guys left on the RC car video when we first got it because I asked you guys what we should paint it. Thank you guys for all the comments. After we paint it, we are also going to switch out all the tires to these kind of sand dune tires that are made to pretty much drive in sand dunes, but we're going to use them to drive on water. And then after we paint the car, let it dry, we're going to have to install all these parts to the body and all these holes and everything, allowing the body to be able to be attached to the RC car. So it's going to be an awesome vlog, but that's not the best part of the vlog. The best part of the vlog is we got, what do we got? We got Taco Bell. That's the best part of the vlog. Oh, oh look at the, look at, yeah. That's the best part of the vlog. Oh, gave me some mints as well. We also got the batteries charging right here. So let's start the painting process of the RC car. Before we begin painting, we do have to clean the vehicle. Now me and Kayla are going to be painting this car. Now I am no expert when it comes to painting, but it can't be that hard. So we're just gonna clean it off because this body has been sitting um, over in the corner for a while. It's collected a little bit of dust. So we're just gonna clean it off and then we will begin the painting process. The RC car is ready for our paint. All right, here we go. So first coat. I haven't spray painted something in a really long time, so bear with me, I might be kind of bad. It's coming along pretty nicely. I like, I like honestly, all black. Cause this is, I think it's kind of a, it's a flat black. So it's somewhat of a matte finish, which will go well because our neon colors are kind of a matte color too. So I think this is gonna turn out really sick. I think it is pretty much done. I don't really see any parts that I missed. The front is already starting to dry. Like it already looks dry. It's literally already almost dry. Well, we're gonna let it dry for a little bit and then we will do the neon colors, which I think will be the fun part. While we're waiting for this to dry, we are going to go inside and pretty much replace the tires and get ready for this crazy stunt of driving it across the pool. I honestly have no idea how this is going to go, but I've already got most of the tires off pretty much. Um, yeah, I got all the tires off. So these are the original tires that come with the vehicle. And then we are going to be upgrading them to these so <laughs> these are pretty crazy so I'm gonna go ahead and put all these on all right so there we have it there is the car with the sand dune or water tires, those are awesome. I really hope these tires work. I'm sure they'll do exactly as performed, uh, but I'm just hoping the thing makes it across the pool. I honestly am gonna say I am a little bit nervous, um, but we are actually filling up the pool right now. We're filling up the pool right now because I want to get the water level as high up to here as possible. I want the RC car to be able to come through here and make it over that as well. If the water's too low, I think it's just gonna hit that wall and just kind of stop there because I want it to go all the way across the pool. I honestly think this is gonna work. The only thing is, I don't know how much speed we're gonna be able to get. This is all the room we have right here to gain speed. So the other side does not look as good unless we were to make a ramp right here because there is kind of a step right here. So we'd have to make a ramp. This side has more room so we can come up here and then hit a ramp, maybe. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. We're still trying to plan it out, but we still gotta wait for this car to dry. So it's just kind of do, 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 do. Just time ticking, just waiting. I found something that I really think is gonna help this RC car get across the pool. We got a ramp. <laughs> All right, 
So that is our makeshift ramp over there, guys. Check this out. This is gonna be our ramp. We're gonna start the RC car about right here, I'd say. Drive it all the way up. It's gonna hit the ramp and hopefully make it across the pool. The RC car is done and it looks awesome. It's kind of a matte finish, but the underside of it actually looks really cool. It's all gloss under there, so that is awesome. And then we're about to do all the splattering. So how are we gonna do this? So I was thinking we could do one color at a time, like just do all the neon yellow that we want and then all the orange and purple and blue. Just a whole lot of this. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Wow, that, even look that is gonna cool. look crazy. Look at this. Could you imagine if this is if that was glow in the dark too? How cool would that be? That'd be insane. All right, so first color is on, and I have to say it looks awesome. But I mean, this is just only the first color. We still got quite a bit more to go. Six colors. All right, so this is what it looks like so far. I think this thing looks awesome. We have one more color though, which is the purple. Yeah. Yeah. So we have the purple left. This thing looks so cool though. I can only imagine when it's dry, it's gonna look so much better as well. All right, so it is pretty much complete for the most part. We just gotta wait for it to dry. Kayla also nailed me in the face with some paint, but this thing looks so flippin' cool. Check this out. It still has to dry, but wow, is this thing crazy. I love the way this turned out. I think it turned out way better than I anticipated, but it looks awesome. So now we got to clean up. I also got some paint on my face, I believe. I don't know if it's still there. Um, it's still there? That's smeared pretty good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like a little spot right there. It's, it's, yeah, it's I can't nice see thing. it. It's so bright outside that I can't even see the camera screen. So <laughs> <laughs> this thing looks crazy. We're going to let it dry for about an hour or so or just however long it takes to dry. And then we're going to put it on the RC car and see if it'll make the pool. Moment of truth. Is the RC car dry? Uh -huh. Oh, hello, derpy swan. Oh my gosh, this thing looks awesome. I also put all the plastic on so we can mount it to the RC car. It is the next day. I'm wearing a different shirt as well. Um, we had to let it dry overnight because it took so long to dry. But let's put it on the RC car and let's do this. We also filled up the pool water pretty high so the RC car can just skim right across and out of the pool. I will say though, I am pretty nervous just because I don't know if we have enough room to pick up speed here because that is a pretty big distance across. Time to put the body on the RC car. Oh, this thing looks insane. This thing looks so sick, not just with the custom body, but also the tires too. I mean, look at that thing. That thing's crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna drive it around a little bit just to kind of uh, warm up my skills. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. This is a bad idea, but unspeakable student. doing it. So before we do do this though, I want to get kind of a, a safety thing just in case this thing does fall into the pool. So if something does happen, hopefully I'll be able to kind of fish it over to me. I, I will be completely honest, I'm really nervous for this. I really don't think this RC car has enough room to gain speed. Oh, I'm so nervous, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Here goes, RC car pool jump. No problem. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the body is soaking wet, but it's okay. I mean, all the paint's dry. Oh my gosh, it made it no problem. <laughs> I didn't think we, had, we were gonna have enough room. Let's do it again. Honestly, I kind of want to try going this way though. I don't know. Let's try it, guys. Let's try going this way. We'll go the other way. Now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here we go. Round number two. Oh no! It's underwater! Oh no, 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 no! Well, now my shoe is soaked. So the problem 
that we did there is um, when I went in, it started completely turning and it was going straight for the hot tub. So I tried to turn the wheel a little bit because I knew if it hit the top hot tub, it was gonna sink. But me turning my wheel basically caused it to, I guess, flip over. Um, but it still kind of hit the top tub anyway, so. We know it works. You guys saw it in the first clip. That was pretty crazy. I'm not gonna do it anymore. I've seen a ton of people run these RC cars through tons of amounts of mud and water and they don't get damaged. But me personally, I don't wanna take the risk and actually break the thing because it, it was extremely, it's a very, very expensive RC car. It's the most expensive RC car uh, that I've ever seen. That was insane. I did not expect it to make it all the way across that was pretty crazy guys i want to thank you all so much for watching this was so so cool i mean this thing is an absolute beast now we do have a kind of an issue the issue is is the paint is actually coming off guys look at that look at that so oh that's not good look at that all that paint is coming off we, ha we even have a little bit of paint coming off right there i don't really see any in the front or the side it's really just that back part right there i think it's because it got soaked in water Water, but that stinks. We let the RC car dry for about 14 hours, I'd say. And this paint is made to stick on plastic, so I'm not really sure why it's doing that. But man, that sucks. Look at that. All the paint's coming off. It's literally all gone. You can kind of see all the paint chips in the pool right there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. But that, that was so much fun. Seriously, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, of course, be sure to leave a like. And I was very nervous to do this stunt. I really was because of what just happened there in the pool. I'm happy he was able to make it across. I think that was insane. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Now, one other thing, one of a couple other things that we are going to do to this RC car is we are going to put a camera on the inside. What I really want to do is I want to cut a hole right here kind of in the windshield and I'll mount a GoPro on the inside so you guys can get a view of what it looks like from the driver. I think that would be really cool. But anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below anything else that's crazy and a ton of fun that I should do with this RC car. Next, I think I'm gonna try to tow my car with it. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I mean, if it can tow Kayla on a skateboard with no problem, only at one third of its throttle, I think it has a chance at towing a car. I've never seen anyone try it either, so we're gonna try it. We are gonna try it. We're gonna make sure that the car has a ton of traction. We're probably gonna put like tape around the tire so we'll like grip to the concrete as best as it can, something like that. If that's something you guys wanna see, leave a like on this video and let me know any suggestions, any other suggestions that you guys have. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will be catching you guys in another video tomorrow.